turn, they've taken the Nimrod out of service and lost the um, anti-submarine warfare capability. So we were looking then uh, with a concept and assessment of bringing that capability back into service. 2019 saw the first aircraft being delivered. Um, and I went out for the delivery. There was five of us from a UK MOD who were allowed to be on that delivery flight. We were really fortunate enough to uh, fly from Seattle in that very first aircraft and then uh, deliver it down into Jacksonville. I was able to actually formally accept it, sign the aircraft, and then we put it onto the military register. For the UK, a fundamentally maritime nation, the restoration of an airborne maritime patrol capability is both essential and quite simply magnificent. Well, DNS provides all the acquisition and supporting services. They include a range of specialist engineering and logistics services such as scheduled maintenance, spares, technical advice and capability upgrades. DNS also provides the airworthiness and safety certification of the Poseidon as a UK military registered aircraft. My enduring hope is that we can live up to the expectations created by this superb programme that will play a key role in keeping the UK safe in uncertain times. Seeing the ninth aircraft arrive at Lossiemouth and the completion of the delivery of the fleet um, is a great day. It, you know, um, we've managed to deliver all the aircraft despite COVID on time. We've delivered all the equipment, the training facility, and having that ninth aircraft there is uh, you know, a great achievement for everybody really.